Hey y'all, so I am getting ready to cook something different for dinner, so I figured I would show you guys what I'm cooking. I wanted to make like a quinoa bowl, so kind of like a rice bowl, but with quinoa instead, because it's, um, it's healthier, has more protein, less carbs, I think. I don't know, but I know it has more protein, so. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is the quinoa I got, and I just found this at my local grocery store, it's tricolor quinoa. And so I'm boiling the water now. I'm getting ready to go ahead and add this and then uh, cook this first. All right, so uh, I'm just cooking it based off the directions on the bottle. Uh, basically, you just bring the water to boil, put the quinoa in there, and salt and butter if you want, and then you simmer it for 15 minutes. So, <clears throat> so while that's simmering, I am going to go ahead and cook my peppers and mushrooms. a little bit of olive oil in the pan and I'm actually just gonna cook the peppers and mushrooms in the same pan because who got time to be dirtying up all these different pans <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna let that cook. I also have some broccoli to put in there too, but that's already made because I actually made that for my kids for dinner. Um, and some tomatoes to put in there too. But the tomatoes, um, we're not gonna cook. We're just gonna put in after everything's all done. So yeah, quite a bit of vegetables because there's no meat, no, yeah, I don't eat meat, but I do eat seafood. Um, so sometimes I would make something like this with shrimp. But most times when I do these kind of bowls, I don't put any type of meat in them. So, yeah, um, that's it. I'll check in with y'all later so I can see how it looks when it's all done. Okay, so this is what the finished product looks like. And I got my broccoli, peppers, mushrooms, and tomatoes in there. I'm actually going to add a little bit of sriracha just for a little bit of a kick. I didn't want to put this on all of the vegetables because... I made a lot of vegetables so they can kind of last us for a few days and so I may I think I have more vegetables than quinoa <laughs> so we may use them for something else we're planning on making um, probably burgers or a veggie burger for me this weekend so I might use them on that too so and then I'm also putting a little bit of soy sauce and the same reason goes for the soy sauce I didn't want to add it to the vegetables just in case you know so I'm gonna add a little bit of soy sauce Plus, my husband is not a huge fan of soy sauce, so I'm not sure if he wants that on his. So that's what it looks like. Go ahead and mix that up a little bit. And hopefully it tastes good. I've never made quinoa before. <laughs> but I just wanted to try something different. So that's what it looks like all mixed up. Let's see how it tastes. Okay, so it's pretty good. Um, I do feel like it's lacking some sort of seasoning. Like I kind of want like a teriyaki sauce or something to go with it. 
so hold please i might have some <laughs> okay so i have this um szechuan spicy sauce and i'm just gonna pour a tiny bit on here just because i don't want to make this an unhealthy meal so just a little bit probably like i'm gonna actually measure it i'm gonna do like a tablespoon which is one serving okay so that's plenty Okay, so yeah, that is better. Um, just because it gives it a little bit more flavor. So yeah. Sorry to be chewing on camera and everything, but <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you've ever cooked quinoa and how you prepare it and, you know, what you eat it with. Uh, I'm kind of using it as a substitute for rice because I love my rice. And with me not eating meat, I eat a lot of rice. So it's probably not the best for my waistline. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and eat. I'm about to watch this new show called, what is it called? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to go back to my couch and I'll let y'all know. Okay, so the new series is called Love Is, and I know the lighting is probably not the best. It's kind of hard to show TVs on um, on video. But it is by Mara Brock McKeel and her husband. It's kind of uh, their love story, pretty much. So it's based on their real-life love story. So it just started on TV One. I'm getting ready to watch the first episode on demand. And I'll let y'all know what I think. Yeah. 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 No, what you doing, girl? Yeah. I'm doing the Chloe. Yeah. What happened to the sun? <laughs> you see yourself? every now and again of course you can't do it as much as like prior to kids but it's almost like I appreciate it more now because I don't get to do it very often and it's it's just so good to be able to vet to somebody that you trust and have an adult to talk to and um, you know just be able to chill like everybody needs that so I had a really good time I don't have a whole lot of friends that live here I mean I have some friends that live here and then like but all my friends from like college that i'm really close with they don't live here so i don't get to see them very often but i do the girl that i went out with today we've been friends since like middle school like she's one of my oldest friends um so yeah i'm glad that she lives here and we can hang out sometimes so it's really important to have especially with not having any family here so yeah that's pretty much it i don't want nothing i just came on because I was feeling pretty good after my little lunch date with my homegirl. I wanted to check in with y'all because I feel like it's been a couple days. Well, actually, you guys probably just saw a clip of yesterday. We did a pool day with the kids. And so we did that morning. We got in the pool. And this was Chloe's first time really being in the pool. Like, she's put her feet in there before. But actually, like, full-on pool. This was her first time. Um, so we had both her and Noah in the pool and Nate and I. And we just had a really good time. And then we had like hamburgers, or I had a veggie burger, but Nate had hamburgers and kids had french fries and fish sticks. 
um, that they ate, but it was just a really good day. And then we got back in the pool later on yesterday afternoon, so that was fun for them. And it's fun for us to see them having so much fun, so, you know, that was cool. It was a really good day yesterday. And then after that, like, after the kids went to bed, my husband and I, we had a movie night in our little theater room. I told my husband, I'm like, look, we got to make use of this house. <laughs> like this house, we built it. This was like our dream house. And you know, you, you think you're going to do all these things in your house. Or when you get anything, really, and you don't really take full advantage of it, you know. So I'm like, we need to start taking full advantage of this house. Like we have a movie room. We're going to be watching some movies. Like he, he always kind of watches movies in there, but I've never like that big on movies. Um, but yeah, we're like, we're going to start using that more. And also using a pool more because we don't use that enough either um so yeah anyway that's it i'm gonna stop rambling and i'll probably be i don't know i'm not sure if i'll check in with y'all tomorrow because i have jury duty and i'm pretty sure i won't be back tonight so i'll see y'all when i'll see y'all and that's it i hope y'all are having a great weekend bye Hey y'all, so I just wanted to pop in here real quick because I actually have jury duty this week. So I really won't be vlogging much, but um, yeah, fun times, right? So yesterday I had I had to come in for um, jury selection. And of course, I got selected because that's just, it's not even a surprise, honestly. I kind of felt like I knew I was going to get selected. And... There were three childs that they were choosing a jury for yesterday. Sorry, this is a dose of colors toast. Yeah. There were three childs that they were choosing juries for yesterday. And of course, I got chosen for the criminal trial, and it's a federal trial. So it's probably going to be, they said probably about three or four days. It's not, thankfully, it's nothing that's like going to be crazy long which I don't mind this is my first time doing jury duty I don't mind doing it it's just you know it kind of throws a wrench in your plan yeah you know? but if I was on trial I want somebody on the jury that I knew would be fair and try to actually listen to the evidence so you know that's what I'm trying to do yeah so it is what it is but I just feel like like yesterday I felt like I was missing out on everything because yesterday I had to be here really early because it was the jury selection day so I had to be here at like 7 45 I think um, and then I didn't we didn't leave until 5 and the courthouse with traffic is like an hour away from me so fun times right uh, so yeah this morning trial starts at 9 and I'm here a little bit early, but that's because it takes an hour to get here, like I said. Um, so, plus, not only does it take an hour to get here, but also it's downtown, so you can't really park in front of a courthouse. So the parking garage is like four to five blocks, four to five, not 45, <laughs> four to five blocks away. So, in the mornings it's not bad but like yesterday when we got out for lunch and I needed to go to my car because they wouldn't let us take our phones in so I needed to go to my car and call my husband and let him know I got chosen and all that um I had to walk to my car in the hot sun I was hungry and I had to walk all the way back in the hot sun hungry but today it won't be as bad because um if you get chosen well at least here um since I was chosen I get to take my cell phone to the courthouse I just have to leave it in a locker so at least like during our recess I can go call um, maybe try to FaceTime the kids but like yesterday when we got out for recess the kids were already down for a nap so and then I felt bad because like actually yesterday morning when I left Chloe was still asleep so I didn't even see her until I got home um, so that kind of sucked but anyway I'm gonna stop complaining uh hopefully i have a good day i am i guess i'll fill y'all in on a couple little things so right now i am doing um a super strict keto diet i actually just started today um uh, i'm only going to do this for like a week 
and then I'm gonna move on to something less restrictive but this is just the first week um, just trying to kind of help jumpstart some weight loss so for I bought my lunch today and so for breakfast this morning I had one egg I am trying to drink a gallon of water a day so I had uh, Quite a bit of water this morning so it really was a force to drink the, to eat the one egg I was gonna I was planning on eating two but it was a force to eat the one so I ate that and then for lunch today I have just some shrimp as a protein because yeah I don't eat I eat seafood but I don't eat like any other meat so shrimp it is um, and then I got some boiled eggs that I cooked last night as a snack and then I got this, um, I don't know if I ever showed y'all this, but this is bubbly. It's a sparkling water. And it doesn't have any artificial sweeteners or anything like that. Uh, it doesn't have any calories and no caffeine, of course. It's just carbonated water and natural flavor. Um, so if you're looking for a sparkling water and you don't want all the garbage sometimes they can put in them, you can try these. They're, they're not very, like flavorful so if that's what you're looking for like a basically a mini soda is not like that like you'll be disappointed these just taste like water like sparkling water with a hint a small hint of a fruit so this one is strawberry and then also have the apple at home and I purchased these probably about two weeks ago at the grocery store they were on sale and I wanted to try them they were buying them free so I just went ahead and got both flavors but they are really I won't say they're really good, but <laughs> they're a nice change if all you're drinking is water. And then I got my water. So the problem is, is that I was planning on doing this diet and then I got picked for jury duty. So it's like, I can't use the bathroom that often. And with me drinking all this water, I like right now I need to go. Like, <laughs> but I got to walk five blocks to the courthouse. So, I don't know, I may stop in a restaurant on the walk because there's a couple of like little restaurants that I could probably stop in, but I hate doing that when I'm not there to buy anything. You know, people act funny, so. Other thing I wanted to share with y'all that I have found to be really helpful since I've been on jury duty is this little Kirigami pouch. So, I actually purchased the um, Louis Vuitton Kirigami set pochette set and it comes with three pouches it comes with this size the larger size and then a smaller size I didn't show it to y'all in like in a reveal or anything like that but um, I actually have the larger size for sale right now so if you guys are interested uh, if you're interested I guess just leave it in the comments below with your email or actually I always leave my email in the comments so if you're interested in pricing or whatever for the large kirigami pouch then uh, email me and I'll talk to you about pricing or whatever but that's not what this video was about <laughs> but anyway so I finally started using this medium pouch which has come in super handy and has like all my court documents in it so I had put this pouch in my bag they like put receipts and stuff like that in maybe coupons like paper things that I don't want just like hanging out in my purse but I don't really want to put them in my mini pochette either um, so yeah I have like all my court documents in here so I can't really show y'all but I've been putting my parking tickets in here I stuck my headphones in there this morning but I don't really keep them in there I think I just did it because I had this out so I found this really helpful you can also like if you're gonna use this for travel you can use it for passports which I do plan on doing next time we go somewhere which won't be anytime soon but yeah so that's that and I've been enjoying this it's like a cute little pouch that I can kind of keep things away I'm gonna start trying to save more of my receipts um, especially for things I'm not sure about so that way like if I need to return something um, I'll have my receipts on me. So yeah, and I got my little lunch box, but that's that. Uh, what time is it? 8.40. Alright, so I guess I better get the walk into this courthouse. I uh, just wanted to check in with y'all. Not sure when I'll be back. Um, probably won't even be any time this week. Um, just because I'll be in jury duty all week, so I won't be doing anything. Unless we get out early, so hopefully y'all pray for me. Anyway, by the time y'all see this, my trial would have been over, but anyway. 
I will talk to y'all later. I hope y'all are having a good week and I'll see y'all soon. Bye. Oh, before I go, I know I had been promising y'all the um, review on the YSL Lulu bag and I actually, I was planning on filming it actually a, last week and I didn't get a chance to. So I was like, okay, I'll film it this week, but I didn't expect to get chosen for jury duty. So I don't know when I'm going to film it, honestly. So it is coming still and I really want to do it. Um, it's just that, you know, it's life, life happens. So um, I don't know, maybe if I have some energy after the kids go to sleep tonight, I'll do it. Um, but I also like, because I'm at jury duty all day, I'm not having time to like clean up and stuff. My husband cleaned up a lot at, at home yesterday, so thankful for that. But anyway, so just wanted to let y'all know it is coming. I did not forget about it. Um, I just haven't had a chance to do it. So anyway, y'all have a good day. Bye.